All right, everybody, Zach Man 18 AC here, back again uh, for another Animal Crossing video here on our Zach Man 18 AC channel. We are live for the first ever time on this channel. Uh, this is our Animal Crossing New Leaf discussion uh, that I promised you guys about uh, earlier today, or it was last night that I put up the video. Um, so hopefully we'll, we might get a couple more people here. We, we, we are starting a little bit early. Um, because I kind of just want to get the ba the basics out of the way. So uh, you guys are currently looking at the Animal Crossing New Leaf logo. I'm just kind of zooming it in uh, on the box, and we'll just show that in a second. Uh, we have a uh, we have two people with us right now. We have Tim, Mr. Whammy Zuna, with us. Hello again. <laughs> and we have SCVKMT. Hey guys. So go subscribe to both of their channels. They got pretty good videos down there. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, oh wait a minute, Zach. We have to film off your Monday today. Uh, that's not even close to this topic right now. So we're not. Yeah, we're not gonna go. We're not gonna go off topic at all on this hangout. We're just. It's. It's. This is all about Animal Crossing New Leaf. So if you're not here for Animal Crossing New Leaf, you might as well just skid out and walk away like the weakest link. Anyways. <laughs> um. Anyways, so uh, let's get started right away. Uh, let's let's first of all let's talk about uh, the box here. Uh, this is the Amazon uh, box that they have. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom out here. It so nice. if you guys haven't seen this yet. This is the official Animal Crossing New Leaf box cover for uh, for the actual game itself. Um, as you can see, it's got a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, you guys can also download this directly from the eShop as soon as it comes out. I think I think I think it'll be downloadable from the eShop on the day it comes out. I'm not too sure yet. Um, it's going to be retail for thirty nine ninety nine. Um, I've already pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered it a couple days ago. Um, so let's just kind of examine here what what is in here. So first off, uh, right away you got uh, what you what your character what your character might look like. Um, I kind of like this little this little uh, character. I like how they're actually you know they've actually, they're actually tall and they're not like little midgets like Animal Cross the, like the past uh, past three Animal Crossing games. Um, they're actually they actually look human sized. Um, so um, I'm gonna be using a face guide uh, that someone uh, that uh, uh, Lynn and Co have been uh, Lynn and Co told me about. Uh, if you guys don't know who they are, they're uh, a Japanese couple uh, and they and they make Animal Crossing New Leaf videos. Uh, so go check them out. Um, over here we've got uh, so yeah you uh, if you guys didn't if you guys don't know what the main plot of Animal Crossing New Leaf is. You are the basic. You are the you are the new mayor of your village. You can uh, have your village be anything. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm still gonna keep mine as TZMville, uh, just like Animal Crossing City Folk. It'll be a, it'll be a brand new TZMville. Um, so yeah, you you are the mayor. You get to do anything you want to this village. It's yours. Um, so you can do whatever you want in it. Uh, over here on the right here, we have this is your assistant. Uh, and from what I've heard, I think her name is Isabel. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Um, so yeah, she's kind of a cute little dog assistant uh, lady. And what she's got in her hand, she's got a little book of all the different community projects that you can actually work on. So we got an Easter Island head and uh, a jungle gym, uh, and there's so much more. And we and we'll talk about some of the community projects in this discussion as well. Um, hey Zach. Yes. Are they making Animal Crossing New Leaf for the Wii? Uh, no, this is a exclusive 3DS title. Um, they, they, there's been rumors of a Wii U version, but it hasn't been confirmed. I won't believe it until I until I actually hear it from them. Um, but yeah, uh, and over here on the left of the mayor, we've got uh, you can have, you can have up to four people in your town, four uh, actual people in your town, um, just like the just like the other games. Um, so uh, you can actually bring in your you actually bring your furniture into these guys. So, and I'll talk about it in just a second, but yeah, so you, yeah, there's, uh, there's, there, those are the two girl, those are the boy and girl characters, and they uh, really displayed that very well in this uh, little box. Um, we've got, uh, so this is the new, uh, this is the new kind of shop in the town, it's called Retail, uh, but if you live in Japan, it's called R. Parker's. Um, so basically, this is a new clothing store, I think it has a bit of everything, I think it has furniture, so it's basically the new Tom Nook store. And it's run by these two little raccoons. I don't know what their names are, but maybe I'll Google it in just a second. Um, so you can go here and sell stuff. Uh, what what they can also do, is, if you, as you can see this hammer right here, 
Uh, you can actually uh, bring in furniture, and and if you have, uh, I think if you bring in furniture, they'll make it like a golden color, or just like they'll like re like renovate it. And that's what's really cool about that. And uh, I'm really excited to kind of check that out. It's going to be really interesting to see what what kind of stuff you can actually turn your old turn your old looking furniture into. So it's a nice little shop here. So retail is the new shop. They got a nice little bulletin board. And right next to that, if you guys can see this little symbol thing right here, that is the, uh, I think it's like a recycling bin like right next to there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually connected to the retail shop, but uh, anyways, in the middle here, uh, so what I, so now I'm gonna, we're going to kind of talk about the intro of the game. Uh, I've seen many different gameplays of the intro from the Japanese and South Korean versions, um, which are both out now. Uh, and this is, so basically, what's new about this one, I'm not sure if this was in the other ones, I'm getting Wild World pretty soon. Um, I'm actually going to get it this week for you guys, so I might make a little uh, Wild World series for you guys this week. Um, there'll be like a mini-series, just like Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, it'll probably be ten episodes, but Animal Crossing New Leaf is only going to be three. Anyways, so what you do, uh, as the now that you're the mayor, you actually get to plant a tree, a town tree, uh, at pretty much the entrance to your town. And this will just kind of uh, symbolize your town's kind of, you know, town town type thing. Um, it'll just yeah, it'll symbolize your town, and it grows and grows, and it, and it turns out to be this huge, huge tree. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, that'll be really cool to see that grow as we play. Um, over here, we got some flowers. Uh, we've got four petal flowers this time. Uh, They've kind of, I think they have I think I think they've resorted to four petal flowers and not three so I think that looks really cool. They've got the lucky clovers. I'm still hoping to try to get that on city folk. Here is the jungle gym up close. Um, if you I think if you touch it the whole the, whole, the when you uh, press A on it the entire thing spins. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, over here we got another one of the community projects. I'm not sure if this is in the uh, North American version. Probably is since this 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 is, yeah since this is the official North American version of the box. It's like an Eiffel Tower type thing, but it's 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 supposed to be kind of like the Tokyo Tower um, in Japan. Um, over here, we've got the island that you can actually go to. Uh, there's a dock uh, down by the beach in your town, and uh, you can basically cap in the old bus driver uh, from the past couple from the past Animal Crossing games. He actually he get, he actually is the boat rider, and he and he takes you. Uh, on the boat rides, and uh, he's basically your escort to the island. I think I believe it costs a thousand bells to go to the island. Um, I'm not quite sure about that. I think it's 500 if you're playing alone, and a thousand uh, playing two player. Um, so yeah, that that'll be uh, really cool to check out. Uh, and this is this is the island itself. It's much bigger than this. Uh, it's just kind of a far away zoomed out picture, but uh, it's actually really cool. Um, I saw some gameplay of it. There's actually uh, there's a different currency you actually spend on the island. I'm not sure what the currency is called, but uh, you have to play games on the island. And guess who lives on that island? The old mayor of Animal Crossing, Mr. Tortimer. The turtle, uh, uh, Tortimer the turtle uh, lives there now. He's retired, and uh, he he he's kind of the main person on the games. Uh, Cap'n's family, uh, I think family members, uh, are kind of running the shop on the island. And you can buy like exclusive like island furniture, and you have to use the currency that you use from beating those little mini games. Uh, the mini games include bug catching, maybe fishing, uh, just all sorts of things. They got hide and seek on there as well. So, and you have to do it within a certain time limit and get a certain amount of points. And 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 uh, based on how well you do, uh, they'll give you a certain amount of coins. So, uh, very very cool. There's also exclusive uh, fruit that you can actually get from the island, which I'll probably be. Uh, Going back and getting, they have bananas and mangoes. From what I've seen, I think there's another. I think there's a couple more fruit there, but I, that's that's what I know now. Um, so yeah, the island is really really cool. That's I'm going to be spending a lot of time there uh, on the island. Um, heading back over here to the town. Um, so yeah, we got all new villagers. I like I like the looks. I like I like this guy on the jungle gym. He looks pretty awesome um, with his little star shirt and his little haircut. Um, so I guess, uh, I don't know if they carry ice cream. Uh, I guess ice cream is like an item. Um, I hope it is. That'd be really cool if it is. KK Slider, we'll actually get to him in just a second when we head over here to the shopping center. Uh, they got a little flying present up here for the slingshot. That's still in there. Uh, back here we got a Sphinx. I think this is another one of the community projects. Um, once again, we'll talk about the community project in just a second. This is the train. Uh, you enter in on the train in the, entrance, in the intro of the game. 
Uh, and this, and you can actually, and you go to the train station if you want to visit someone else's town. Uh, so that'll be really cool to check out. Um, so you basically, it's basically just like the town gate from City Folk and stuff like that. Uh, and the kind of the main thing of this game is the uh, big shopping center here. Uh, it, it's right next to the town uh, across across the train tracks. Uh, Tom Nook actually has a bunch of different shops there. We're going to be talking about the home shopping center in just a second. But uh, this is the basic box for Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, let's take a look at a couple pictures here. Uh, they have they have this on Amazon.com. You can go check them out for yourself if you want to. Uh, so this is uh, kind of old E3, tw I think it was announced in E3 2010 or 2011, uh, either one of those. So uh, they've been taking, uh, they've been uh, definitely working on, the, on this for a while. So, um, and uh, people say it's definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we got a bench. I think, we, I think you can actually build this in your town. I think it's one of the community projects. Um, got flowers around them. And you got Punchy, uh, who, as you guys know, lives in our town. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, so this is, uh, this is kind of what it looks like when you are, I think, uh, I think when you're trying to, uh, get, when you're trying to choose where you want your house to be, I think you, uh, have Tom Nook follow you around and just to make sure, uh, you know what you're going to be building. These are kind of old pictures. These are not what the trees look like now, but these are just kind of, uh, but they still have the same idea. And, uh, I think this is where the, um, community projects come in and we'll talk, we'll still talk about that when we get there. This is the dock. Um, this is, you can actually go swimming in this one. Um, you, I think you can in the GameCube. I'm not sure if you can in Wild World or not. But um, and you, but you have to have a. I, I believe you have to have a marine a marine suit uh, in order to actually go in there. It's it's basically a swim. You actually have to have a swimsuit, I think, to go into the water, which is kind of lame. But I guess that kind of makes sense. I don't know. Um, going into the, uh, the these are kind of what the house designs look like. Uh, you can actually turn the entire house view into an entire 360 degree angle so you can rotate your view around the house. So that's really, really cool. Um, I think this is when you just go in and hang out at one of your uh, animals' houses. Um, I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of stuff up here. I like the little air conditioner up here. That's pretty sweet. Um, let's see. Next up here, more swimming around. This is kind of what it looks like uh, on the beach. Um, Oh yes. Okay. So when you actually buy your house from, uh, so uh, I guess I'll talk about this now. So uh, you will go to uh, there's a there's two Tom Nook places in the in the shopping center uh, at, uh, at the shopping center. Yeah, and uh, one of them is an actual just like the plain Tom Nook store, and uh, which uh, his uh, I mean his kids run the store, Timmy and Tommy. Um, and then there's one that Tom Nook has called, I think it's uh, Tom Nook's Tom Nook's home Tom Nook home retail, I think. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so when so uh, you go to him and you buy and you uh, tell him to come to your town and he comes to your town and you uh, uh, pick whichever spot. And this is really cool. I like how you can actually pick the spot where you want to be. Um, I, I, I the the houses from the. Uh, from the automatic selection ones, um, and after you buy your house, it'll take a little bit to. Uh, it'll it'll take. I think it takes a day to build it. So he gives you just this tent to st to stay the night in. So this is just a tent that you uh, have for the for the rest of your first day. But uh, the next day on day two, your house will be built, and of course you can actually pay off the debt. Uh, uh, Zach. Yes. Tim left. Oh okay. Um. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh. So the debt, uh, it, I heard, is a bit uh, less than what it is in City Folk, which I kind of like because I think it took uh, a, quite a while to actually uh, go in there and uh, um, just do a bunch of whole, a bunch of stuff because I've had to keep like selling fruits and stuff like that in order to actually make any bells and keep hitting the money rock. So I believe there's a money rock. I'm pretty sure uh, that, that would be terrible if there wasn't. Uh, so yeah, this is what it kind of looks like in the winter. Uh, it's going to be, it's, that's a long time from now, but, uh, that's kind of what it looks like when it snows. I definitely want that lamp post. I, I really like this picture a lot because it just definitely has a lot of a wintry feel to it. Um, here's what it's like in autumn, uh, in November when you're collecting a bunch of those mushrooms around the trees. Um, let's see what else do we got here. 
This is what it looks like when you're catching a bug. So what what you can actually do sometimes, I mean, you can automatically just press, I think it's B that you, B or A that you use to, I think it's A that you use to grab the bugs. And, uh, but what you can do, I think if you, I think you, I think it's holding A from what it, from the looks of it. Uh, if you hold A, you can kind of get in a ready stance and just get kind of closer to it and then just snatch it at the right time and catch the bug. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then here's and they've got actually bushes in this game uh, for the first I think it's the first time in the, in the Animal Crossing game where they actually have bushes. They have some on the island. I'm not sure how you actually get the bushes. I think uh, uh, there's a gardening shop in the in the town shopping center. We'll talk about that later as well. Um, here's kind of a cool replica of someone made for the Legend of Zelda. They've got a bunch of the type of Legend of Zelda stuff. They got the whole Link costume and the Triforce back here and a treasure chest. Um, and kind of just the little stone uh, columns and the master sword, so pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and watch this quick little, uh, this is the uh, E3 trailer back from E3 2011, I believe it was, so uh, enjoy. the new music. There's a bunch of new music in this game. It sounds really good from what I've kind of heard. Isn't that the music that I'm making for Animal Crossing? Um, I'm not sure if you, I'm not sure if I, if I really need one from you, but I'll let you know. Okay. So you can change your pants. Uh, they actually have pants that you can buy from separate neck and uh, buy shoes and all that stuff. Okay, I think that's when you're trying to find a community project uh, area. So that is the that that was the uh, announcement trailer for Animal Crossing. Uh, Understand? So uh, yeah. Uh, so that was the trailer for Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, so yeah, very very cool. Um, let me get out of this tab here. And I'll leave that up for you guys to look at while I find my next thing here. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave this, leave the picture up for you guys. Um, let me actually zoom in on it. Uh, so yeah, a lot. Uh, those are kind of the basics of, of the game um, from what the trailer has shown uh, back from E3 2011. Um, so now we're just going to kind of. Uh, I've, I've got a couple information sites here, some wikis about uh, what. Uh, some of the stuff here is um, now a lot. So the first one uh, on here is: um, Does the game feature grassware? Any animal tracks? Um, so basically, what it mean? What they what they mean by that is: uh, Is there any sort of? Uh, is the, does the grass disappear after you walk over it so many times? Um, and uh, there is. It's much slower than it was. It, it, it was much slower than it was in city. Uh, it's much slower than it was in City Folk. If uh, if you are the type that does not run often, you'll barely notice any grass wear in your town. Growing flowers also helps to make mask the lack of grass. Uh, grass, obviously. Um, what are the town fruits and what are the island fruits? Here we go. This is gonna be really good. Uh, the game features two categories of fruits: uh, fruit that can be found in your town and fruit that can be found in the island. Uh, the the town fruits are apples, oranges, pears, cherries, and peaches. Uh, so those are the basic ones from uh, City Folk. Um, uh, each person's island will have a native fruit to it. Um, there are durians, lychee, mangoes, and lemons. There are two. There are two types of fruits that can grow into trees on your beach, and they're coconuts and bananas. So this is the, okay. I see. Island fruit can be sold for two fifty. Native fruit can be sold for one hundred. Foreign fruit, a town fruit that is not your native fruit. Can be sold for five hundred. Oh, okay, I see. Um, so maybe, uh, 
I don't know, like when we go to somebody's, well, I, I, I guess when, when you go into the dream world, uh, so yeah, I guess I'll have to wait for someone to get it until we actually get to that. Um, what is delicious fruit? Uh, delicious fruit is a rare and upgraded version of whatever fruit it is. Uh, it appears completely random. When you start up a new game, there will be a, uh, there will be a delicious fruit somewhere in the town, so you got to try to find it and make a tree of it. And the fruit will sell for 600 bells. Um, uh, you can't grow a, tr a delicious fruit tree from a foreign delicious fruit. And if you try to, it'll end up being a normal tree of whatever the fruit was. Um, the island is, uh, like I said, ac accessible from the dock on your beach. It, okay, so it does cost 1,000 bells to go. Uh, we get there by riding on Captain's boat. Um, it's always summer on the island, and so you're able to fish and catch summer-specific bugs and fish. Uh, when we arrive there, the, uh, my pockets will automatically be emptied. Therefore, it is necessary to rent out equipment from the gyroid near the entrance of the island. Uh, they also host mini games ranging from one star, which is an easy difficulty, to three stars, in, which is difficult in terms of difficulty. Uh, you can play with friends or by yourself. If you perform well in the mini game, you'll be rewarded with medals. Uh, you can only exchange the medals uh, or goods in the island souvenir shop. So you basically just get medals out of playing the games. Um, Let's see. Uh, can you dive on your own beach? Yes. Once you've purchased the marine suit from the island's souvenir shop for 40 medals. So you got to get 40 medals in order to actually uh, buy the marine suit. Interesting. Uh, you can dive on the island or off your own beach. Okay. That I didn't know. I'm just reading off a bunch of fac uh, uh, facts here, so uh, this is really interesting. Uh, community projects. Are there, there's a new feature of the game that allows you to build projects in and around the town. Uh, they've got bridges, benches, archways, and fountains. They also include buildings such as the police station and the cafe. The police station is from the, uh, I think, for the original Animal Crossing on the GameCube. Um, many community projects will be available to construct. Uh, to unlock more, you'll need to have an animal villager request request some more. Um, how they request them from you happens randomly, usually with you walking by and then coming up to you. So um, if you talk to them a lot, you can actually maybe. Uh, have more of a chance of unlocking more community projects. You cannot build community projects on the beach, it says here. Um, that's, uh, and, and I guess that's not that big of a deal. Um, we can only have one town per game card. It is possible to have four players within the town. The first player will automatic, the first player that actually makes the first file in the game will become the mayor, and uh, the other characters will just act as normal villagers. Um, each will be able to choose where their own home is built, the only major difference between the mayor and the other characters is that the mayor has the ability to start uh, community projects and not the other people. So, um, Can you delete or move community projects? You can delete the majority of community projects. However, major buildings such as the police station, the Dream Mansion, and the cafe cannot be deleted. So make sure you want them before building them. And I do want all, all three of those because I think those would be really cool. Uh, you cannot move community projects. If you build one and decide that you don't like the placement, the only option is to delete it unless it's a building like the police station. Um, in that case, you can't do anything. So, oh well. Um, why did so? There's so there's actually sparkle. Some of the flowers in the game sparkle. Uh, the uh, I think it's actually all the flowers. Um, it's to show that the flowers have already been watered. So that's actually really really cool. That's really neat. Uh, kind of a neat thing to have. Um, so uh, let's see here. Um, let me get some more stuff on here about this. Uh, let's see what's next here. How to unlock uh, some of the other shops in the shopping center. So the shopping center includes places like the museum, uh, I think uh, the Tom Nook shops, club, uh, there's a club, uh, there's Club 101. Uh, that's where KK Slider uh, goes, uh, performs. It's a club called Club 101. Um, it's called Club 444 in the Japanese version. Uh, so I'll talk about that in just a second. But uh, how to unlock some of the other shops. Uh, one of the shops you can unlock is uh, Shoe Shank, which is actually Kix's shoe shop. If you guys don't remember who Kix is from City Folk, he's the shoe shiner in, in the city. Uh, ten, ten days uh, have to pass after you become mayor. Uh, you also must spend over 8,000 bells in the Able Sisters shop in order to unlock the uh, shoe shop. Uh, once the requirements are met, you will see construction being done next to the Able Sisters shop, and it will take three days to complete. Um, how do you unlock the hair salon and where will it be? The hair salon will be situated above the Able Sisters shop. It will unlock after you have the shoe shop for seven days 
and after you've spent at least ten thousand bells in that shoe shop, so and you and you guys can uh, be, you guys better believe I'm going to be buying a lot of shoes because I think uh, it'll be really cool to buy shoes on that game. Uh, construction will begin once the requirements have been met, and it will be ready to open after three days. Uh, how do you get the club? There are a few ways to get. So Dr. Shrunk is involved in this, the comedian from the theater in uh, in the uh, city in City Folk. There are a few ways to get Dr. Shrunk to visit your house and begin the things necessary to open up the club. Uh, you can either have 13 days pass since you first moved to your town, have 10 days pass since the completion of your first community project, or finally have the convenience store be built. The next day, Dr. Shrunk should come to your door. Uh, he'll ask you to have six of your villagers sign a form in favor of him opening up Club 101. Uh, once you complete that, you go to the shop area and talk to him outside the club. Uh, he will begin work, and it'll take another six days for the club to finally open. So I, I do want to work a lot on trying to get uh, try to get the shop. Um, let's see here, uh, and, we'll, and we'll be talking about at, like every single little detail here. We're just going to be talking about the general stuff. Uh, I guess we'll talk about the uh, beauty salon now, uh, just kind of the different hairstyles. Um, if you're a girl or a boy character, how can you unlock the other set of hairstyles? Once you've changed your hairstyle 15 times, you'll be able to choose from the other uh, list of hairstyles. So you, girls can choose boys' hairstyles and boys can choose girl hairstyles. I don't know why you would want to do that. but um, uh, The makeup option. It gives you the chance to change your Animal Crossing avatar into your me. Uh, when you do this, you cannot wear any ex accessories. I might uh, actually try that out, um, and hopefully it'll save into my design section. Uh, how many eye colors are available? There's black, blue, sky blue, blue green, green, blue gray, and brown. So I'm going to be doing brown for my guy. Um, how many hair color choices are available? There's black. There's 16 total. There's black, dark brown, uh, regular brown, light brown, orange, gray, yellow. Light, ye light yellow, red, dark green, blue, light purple, pink, sky blue, and light green and white. Uh, how do we get the color contacts, the ability to uh, change eye color? Once the salon has been open for two weeks, uh, open entering the shop. And uh, if you enter the shop, Harriet will say that the, that the machine is upgraded and that you can use uh, the different color contacts. Uh, the machine itself will change into a red color, making it easy to distinguish. Uh, can you can, can you change your eye color more than once per day? Yes, you can. How many hairstyles are available total? There's 16 each for boys and girls, making 32 total possible once you've done the initial 15 times to unlock the other set. Um, next up, we're going to talk about uh, the two Tom Nooks, the two Tom Nook shops. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is the uh, Tom Nooks Real Estate Agency. That's what it's called. Um, so yeah, it's it's his own kind of house shop. Um, what are the uh, store hours? Uh, so it's 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. If you chose the night owl town regulation, the hours would change to 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. Uh, so I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea what, that, what the night owl town regulation is. Uh, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, how many upgrades or mortgages are there and how much do they cost? So uh, you need to... Okay, so you have to pay 10,000 bells to, to move from your tent to a house. After that, you can begin work on your house. So you have to have your tent until you pay 10,000 bells total. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, for okay, so now for, now for the actual loans. Uh, so the first house loan is thirty nine thousand eight hundred bells. Uh, so that's when the room size is kind of a four by four type thing. Um, the room expansion is uh, ninety eight thousand uh, when the room becomes six by six. Second room expansion is one hundred ninety eight thousand. Um, when the room becomes an 8x8 eight eight size, and the creation of the second floor is 298,000 bells. Um, adding, a room, adding a room to your first floor is 348,000 bells. You can choose from up, left, and right as to where you wish to place your first room. Uh, once you've done this, you can expand the room or continue to create the remaining rooms. Um, An add-on room expansion. So there's different expansions that you can have in your room, which is really, really cool. And that's 498,000. Uh, once you've completed adding on an extra room, you can choose to expand that room to a 6x6 six six size. Um, there's a second add-on room expansion, um, which is 598,000 bells. Once you've upgraded an add-on room to the 6x6 six six and paid the loan off, you can upgrade it again, and it'll end up being 8x8, eight eight, so it'll even be, be uh, even better. There's also a second floor expansion, uh, which is 6x6, uh, six six, so you can either have 6x6 six six or 8x8. Eight eight, uh, 
once you have built a second floor, you can upgrade them twice to first the 6x6 six six and then the 8x8. Eight eight. Uh, the basement is 428,000 bells. You can create a basement after you've built and paid off the second floor. Uh, the basement expansion is 6x6 uh, six six, um, and then 8x8 eight eight for the five. It's basically kind of the same thing. Once the basement is complete, you can choose to upgrade it to the different size rooms. Uh, once you've built all of the rooms, uh, once you don't need to expand them, they can still be the smallest size. You can change the uh, style of your home. Uh, by doing this, you'll become, you'll become a Happy Room Academy VIP member. Uh, and the Happy Room Academy actually has this uh, Happy Room Academy uh, new thing in the town shopping center. Um, what it is, basically, is uh, people that you've street passed with, uh, you can actually go inside uh, your houses and they put them up on display. So that's pretty cool. Um, the styles that you can choose are a modern home, uh, which looks like an apartment building, uh, a western castle style, a Japanese castle style, or the original house model. So there's different kind of styles that you can kind of choose. Um, the first style, the one you start with, which looks like a cottage, is 128,000. Uh, modern style and the other styles are, three, are 398,000. So. I think you can actually go visit uh, people from like the in from the internet and stuff. I think if you like exchange friend codes uh, or something like that. So I don't know. I I, might, I may have to exchange friend codes with some of you guys. I don't know. We'll see. Um, now for the general Tom Nook shop. Uh, so so it's, so it's basically Timmy and Tommy's general shop. How do you get the convenience store, the supermarket, the home center, and the department store? Different requirements that need to be met before you unlock the upgraded versions of the basic store, which is 8, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. for store hours uh, that you start off the game with. Uh, the convenience store is 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, seven days have to pass from the completion of your first community project. You, have, you need to have spent 12,000 bells or have bought 15 items from the store. Uh, once those two requirements have been met, construction in the supermarket should take place. Um, and there will be an announcement on the bulletin board about the upgrade. Uh, the supermarket uh, is the next, and the supermarket uh, goes from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. You need to have had the convenience store and the gardening shop for 10 days, and you have to have spent more than 25,000 bells on items at the convenience store. Uh, and once you meet those requirements, you'll unlock the supermarket. Uh, you'll be able to buy melody cards at the supermarket. These cards work like letter in that you're able to send them through the post office, and you can attach gifts to them. Uh, you you can't write a message, but you can attach a melody, just like how the town hall theme works. So that's pretty pretty cool. Pretty pretty. <laughs> um, uh, the home center from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. You need to have spent more than 50,000 bells at the supermarket, and 21 days need to have passed since the opening of the supermarket. Um, the gardening shop will become part of the home center and will be subsequently become upgraded as a result. Uh, a weed pulling service will also become available, as well as the ability to buy fertilizer. And uh, within the home center, you can be able to purchase music from K uh, by uh, like KK Slider Music for 3,200 bells each. So that's pretty sweet. Um, the department store from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, you need to have spent more than 100,000 bells at the home center in 30 days. Need to have passed since the opening. So uh, to unlock Gracie, you need to go see her fashion corner four times. So she actually has a little fashion store uh, herself. So um, and that's kind of the basis of the shopping center. Um, Next, I want to talk about the community projects. Uh, so, uh, I want to talk more about detail for more of the community projects. Um, let's see here. Uh, let me get another tab here. Zoom out there. Um, oh, whoops. You guys can actually see that. <laughs> whoops. Uh, yeah. Oh, I guess I'll have to do another thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so let me actually get the information about here, so give me a sec here. Hopefully it won't be too hard to pay off the debt. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, Alright, here we go. Community projects. Uh, how do you raise the funds to hold a community project? Uh, you can make sure that it makes uh, 
makes it sensible and possible for all types of players. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, there are charity events, and uh, for people, uh, there's actually if you invite people to your town, they can actually donate to help build some of your community projects. So that's kind of cool. They can it'll be kind of like a town fund. Uh, so the community projects, uh, you can have up to thirty of these community projects in your town. Uh, once the limit is reached, you must have uh, you must remove one in order to make room for another. Um, some projects affect the natural wealth of the village, and others affect the quality of life of the village. Um, they also uh, can request a project to be Tim's done back. and stuff like that. And Tim's back. Um, so let's talk about. Uh, so let me kind of just read off what some of the community projects are. They have an outdoor bed. That's kind of weird. Is it like going to be like a hammock or something like that? Probably. Um, a stone bridge, a well, in a host city. I'm not sure what that is. An illuminated arch, an illuminated tower, an illuminated clock, uh, large monitors, hot springs, garden chair, outdoor light, uh, appearance billboard, so it's kind of like one of those cutout uh, boards. Those are kind of cool. Um, a scarecrow, an enclosure, a flower bed, a rock garden, geyser, a campfire, a metal bench, an art, uh, art to go through, a globe jungle, so that's basically the, the jungle gym, uh, the park bench, the garbage can, a triangular sign, a topiary square, a hydrant, um, a bench of Bai Chang. I think these are like uh, some of these are exclusive to like something like that. Um, a signal, a stadium of light, Stonehenge, sand pit, sand pit, a sphinx, art to sit still, uh, key oil drilling, solar panels, torch, playground equipment, tire, tower, a topiary of a tree, um, a, a bell, a suspension bridge, a hand pump, a lighthouse, totem pole. Clay pipe clock, heart illumination, flower clock, parabolic antenna, uh, balloon arch, hammock, uh, a diamond indicator. Uh, oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention that, too. Uh, when you're uh, on the money rock, uh, sometimes uh, random rocks will appear in your town that, you, that you've never seen before. That means that those are fake rocks, and if you hit those, uh, there will be a diamond that will pop out, and you, and you can actually uh, collect diamonds. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. I'm excited to look look forward to that. Um, so it, it, I guess it's like a diamond indicator that tells you like where the diamonds are. Um, an instrument shelter, a pyramid, a windmill, a wind generation, a wisteria, a plastic bench, a flower arch, a fountain, a bell, my billboard design, a waiting area, round outdoor lights, a round label, a round topiary. So yeah, there's a bunch of different ones. I got a drinking fountain, a statue, uh, outdoor lights. Watch a fairy tale, uh, which is like a clock, a modern watch, a modern bridge, a modern bench. So there's a bunch of community progress that you can That's really, really cool. Um, let's see here. Um, I think those are pretty much the basics. Uh, I can't really think of much to think about. Uh, there's so much more to this game than I that I've said today. I mean, this it would take like five of these live events to actually talk about every single thing. Probably even more. I don't even know. This game is gonna be it's it's gonna be a really complex um, thing. So, um, let's see. Uh, So Tom Nook is now the manager of the new real estate agency, and he's left his store to his nephews, Timmy and Tommy R. Parker. So I guess the raccoons are uh, his uh, his nephews. So that's kind of... Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, there's also a there's also a 3DS XL bundle. There's a, there's an Animal Crossing style uh, 3DS XL that is available in Japan and Korea. I'm not sure if they're going to be coming out in uh, in North America, but uh, you can kind of uh, you can go look at them if you want to see them uh, yourself. Um, so now I got some pictures to show you from the uh, Animal Crossing um, wiki. Here, so let me open it up. So we've already seen this one. Uh, let's go to the next one here. So this is another look at your house. Uh, someone's kind of uh, turned it around a little bit. Oh god, advertisement. Um, seen that one. So this is kind of what uh, it would look like uh, when you're 
have the shovel in your hand when you go swimming. Uh, another inside of the house. These are kind of tiny pictures. Sorry about this, but uh, people on the beach, um, tent. Those are not what the actual chat boxes look like. It's been much more updated. So uh, you can you can fish while people are swimming in the water. That's kind of cool. Here's here's what the well looks like. Um, or I think that's what the final design was. Uh, not sure what that is. That is, that, looks, that actually looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, this is oh yeah. So this is the town hall. This is your office of what it looks like. Um, so you have your own desk and everything. And to make community projects, you have to go sit on your desk. And uh, Isabel, I think that's her name, uh, will come talk to you. And uh, you can kind of uh, just talk to her about just getting a bunch of uh, community projects set up and stuff, other stuff like that. Um, someone's got a nice collection of stuff there. Um, this is what the actual text boxes look like. This is the pol what the police station looks like. Um, I think the lost and found is in there too. Here's the cafe. It's a much uh, more expanded um, thing. Uh, so it's it's still got the four tables, but it's a much bigger size. So uh, every everyone, if you're playing with people online, people can actually fit inside the cafe instead of just kind of running around. Um, so yeah, and I hope you can sit on uh, the other uh, stools. Hope multiple people can have coffee. I'm not sure. Uh, here's Kickstore. As you can see, they've got like boots um, on the on the kind of top right there, and they've got short shoes and stuff like that. So, or those are socks. That's right. So these are socks over here, and uh, these are the shoes over here. So that's pretty cool. Um, so here's uh, Tom Nook's real estate agency. So these are the different. You can actually examine these are doors. Uh, and you can and you can buy a new mailbox as well. Uh, so there's different doors you can pick for your house. So that's really really cool. Um, here's what Rossetti looks like. Um, here's uh, what the what the kind of the tiny store looks like. It's it, it definitely looks a lot like Nook's Cranny. Um, here's what it looks like in the club. This actually looks really really awesome. Uh, everyone's using a bunch of uh, dancing emotions. Um, so yeah, sometimes KK Slider will just uh, play on his guitar, or, or uh, sometimes he'll have his own like turntable, um, and he'll just be like a total DJ. So that'll be really cool. Oh, they actually got an uh, an animated thing here. Uh, who's the new guy? <laughs> um, so yeah, you can actually catch stuff from underwater when you go swimming, like starfish, as you can kind of see there. Uh, a picnic table. I, I think that's one of the. I guess I, I, I guess that's one of the community projects that you can do. Or a picnic blanket, I guess. Um, Able sister. Here's what the uh, uh, the 3ds XL looks like. Uh, so it's got uh, an apple and the Tom Nook logo on there. So pretty cool. Uh, and here's what it looks like uh, up close. This is a, a guy on the island um, at night. Uh, here's what it looks like when you open up the game on the top screen on the main 3ds menu. Um, we're not going to watch any of these. Uh, let's see. Can I? I guess that's all of the uh, stuff for that. Um, so let me put back up the picture there. All right. Uh, okay. Um, So I'm not. Uh, so yeah, I think I think that's uh, pretty much it for that. Um, I'm really excited about it. We are less than three months away from it now. Um, actually, 84 days, I, I believe, from today. Um, and it looks like it's going to be really amazing. Uh, and what and what people have been saying is don't uh, don't buy a 3ds, uh, an imported 3ds, and buy the game. Uh, if you guys don't know the language, don't get the game because uh, they've been uh, people have been saying that are playing the game that uh, it'll be much better at worth the wait if you just wait for the uh, North American version to come out. So um, I recommend to you guys to not buy an imported 3DS and just buy Animal Crossing. Um, it's called Animal Crossing Jump Out in uh, in uh, the other countries. I think in Japan. Um, I'm not sure what it's called in Korea. I wonder if it's called Jump Out or Jump Out or New Leaf. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to play, uh, I've got a trailer to play for you guys to kind of finish off. 
this little uh, thing here. I've got a couple more trailers to play for you guys. Oops. No, I don't want to open up Google or Gosh dang it. Oh, man. Now I'm opening up Google or Close it. Okay, good. <laughs> Only I would be able to do that. Jeez. Uh, all right. I don't think you guys saw that. Good. Um, all right. So, let me... There's also a Nintendo Direct. It's like a 45-minute uh, Nintendo Direct thing, so go check that out. Um, let me just find the... Uh, here's, here's one of them. Uh, so I'll, I'll go ahead and share that with you guys. full screen here. Um, sorry if this looks really weird, guys. Um, okay, so here's another trailer for Animal Crossing New Leaf. This one was actually released on uh, Valentine's Day last month. Uh, this is when they actually released the release date of the game. So, Animal Crossing New Leaf, home to new discoveries every day. So this is what the actual thing looks like. So you, can, you guys kind of saw one of, the, one of the delicious fruits there. That's when you catch something underwater when you're swimming. A sea slug. I thought it could outrun me. <laughs> and, of course, the fossil. Uh, this is the, the, the Tom Nook shop. People just move around the furniture. With something to do all day long. Home shopping center. Nooking Junction. I don't, oh, I don't remember that's what that is, what it was called. Interesting. Uh, here that is what it's called in North America. Fishing, caught a carp. It's so awesome to see some of this stuff in English. It's really cool. Um, and activities throughout the year. Of course, they do the same kind of style they did for the City Folk trailer, or anything like that. Help your town grow. On June 9th, 2013, people, everyone will become the mayor, will, will become the mayor of TZMville. These are the different community projects. The fountain, I don't think I mentioned the fountain. Um, Animal Crossing, New Leaf. Uh, and there's an, I think there's another one here. Uh, and then I'll, uh, what I'll play you guys uh, next after that is... Uh, the part of it, the uh, Nintendo Direct where they kind of talk about it. So this is kind of an older uh, trailer. Uh, I think this is going to be from like a little bit last year, but it still pretty much has the same things. down here. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I like that trailer a lot. Here's a little bit of a footage of the club. <laughs> oh, I love that. Nice. Um, all right, so now I'm going to play for you guys. Uh, this is from the Nintendo Direct from Valentine's Day when they actually announced uh, the game uh, release date. Um, so let's uh, check this out. 
We're working hard at completing the North American version of the game. Uh, and you'll potentially lose. Somebody actually sent me this video it, uh, you may in receive a, special a message, and uh, people were like, Oh my gosh, Zach, you've got to watch this. Skip to like 18 minutes within this video. This is right after they were talking about Fire Emblem really Awakening. Don't miss it. But there's a lot more coming. We know many of you are eagerly awaiting Animal Crossing New Leaf. And I'm pleased to say that the wait is almost over. We're working hard at completing the North American version of the game. And you'll be able to play it in just a few. And when I saw that, I literally went into overdrive. I was I was going really crazy that they finally announced the release date. So, uh, yeah. Short months. The development team considers this to be the definitive version of Animal Crossing, and they have done a tremendous job of both adding new features as well as making general improvements across the entire game to make this Animal Crossing spring to life in ways that feel new and fresh. It starts the moment you arrive in town by train, and you are quickly appointed mayor. Welcome! <laughs> After a short briefing at City Hall and your first big decision, deciding where you want to build your house, your new Animal Crossing life will start. And you can start your new life however you like. The first and only thing you have to complete is a simple one, planting a memorial tree in the town plaza. You're the boss now, so no more doing chores for Tom Nook. Yeah. Keep the animal citizens That's right, Nook. at your own leisure, and instead <laughs> focus on jumping right in to shaping and customizing your town the way you your house is one of the first places you'll start customizing your town, and since your initial loan is much smaller this time, you'll be able to pay off your first house and begin planning your first remodel much more quickly. And now, you can customize the outside of your house for the first time, too. Add a hedge, change your door, or make the roof look like a Japanese castle. <laughs> there are many ways to make your house stand out. When you do decide to meet your animal neighbors, you might find some new species living in town. And you'll find some of your favorite familiar characters have set up shop in the new Main Street shopping area across the tracks. You'll spend much less time running around from place to place, and instead, you can get all your errands done at once. And you'll even find getting those errands done to be much more convenient with the handy touchscreen interface. You'll also oh, let me actually... Uh... Go back a little bit here. Add a hedge, change your door, the tracks. You'll spend much less time running around from place to place, and instead, you can get all your errands done. So Nook's home, Club 101, Nook's homes. And Sweet. you'll even find getting those errands done to be much more convenient with the handy touchscreen interface. So yeah, you guys will be seeing uh, the, the bottom screen. I'll, I'll basically just be showing the top screen when we're playing it, because uh, you guys really don't need to see the inventory. I may show you'll it You'll also come across but... Happy Home Showcase. This is what App Showcase homes. looks like. This is where you can see the homes of players you've connected with via Street Pass. It is just one of the many ways to share your home and your town with others, including a new feature added just for the North American release of the game. But we'll need more time than we have today to talk about the game's online and wireless connectivity features. So stay tuned for more details closer to launch. So yeah, uh, that is uh, pretty much it for that. Um. So yeah, I just went totally ballistic over that because that was a uh, probably a really uh, awesome moment for a lot of the Animal Crossing and New Leaf fans. But now that we know the release date, we are just you know aching for time to pass by and uh, just wait for this game to uh, come out. And uh, it's going to be an amazing game. So uh, I am definitely looking forward to it. Um, let me go ahead and zoom in on the logo for you guys. There we go. Um, because I already I already pre pre ordered mine, of course. So, yeah. All right, and I think that is going to wrap it up for our little Animal Crossing New Leaf discussion. Um, uh, I think I think we've pretty much uh, covered everything that we I, that I kind of wanted to uh, actually cover about the game. Um, it's just a lot of new features, and you know all the different stuff that you can do for your house and stuff like that, so a uh, lot of really good stuff to look forward to um, when actually playing the game, so uh, so yeah, uh, in case you guys didn't, don't know, uh, it's out. Animal Crossing New Leaf is out right now in Japan. It came out uh, back on November 8th, I believe. Um, it's been out in, uh, in Korea for about a, about a month. Um, 
Animal Crossing New Leaf comes out in North America on June 9th, 2013. It comes out at, uh, uh, on June 14th in Europe and uh, June 15th in Australia. So you guys have a couple more, uh, about a week uh, after the North American release to uh, play it. So it uh, shouldn't be that long more of a week than, than us. So uh, yeah, I think that is going to be it for this special Animal Crossing New Leaf discussion. Uh, I want to thank SCVKMT and Tim Mr. Mizuna for being my kind of little co-host for this little event. Um, uh, Animal Crossing City Folk will be uploaded later today, um, as per usual. So, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, hopefully, maybe we can do a little chat like this uh, uh, soon. Uh, well, I'm going to be having my game show parties that I usually do on my regular Zachman18 channel. So, if you guys want to be part of that, just uh, add me on Google Plus and stuff like that. I guess you don't have to add me, but uh, just check out for any announcement videos coming up after that. So, those are a lot of fun. Tim's been Tim's experienced him before in SCVKMT as well. So, um, But anyways, thanks everybody for watching our special Animal Crossing New Leaf uh, discussion. Uh, like I said already, Animal Crossing New Leaf comes out on June 9th in North America, June 14th in uh, Europe, and June 15th in Australia. So, Thanks everybody for watching our special Animal Crossing New Leaf discussion here on Google+. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video uh, here on Zachman 18 ac Make sure you guys go subscribe to my regular channel as well. And uh, I will see you guys later.